Hey, welcome back to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I am superb. Thanks for asking. Um, beer I've got in front of me today. Um, one of my uh, favorite local beers uh, out of Burbank, California. Trustworthy Brewing. Uh, literally been going there on and off for the last couple years. Uh, make good uh, good beers, good bourbon barrel aged stouts that I've had there. Um, but yeah, they're on the come up. Um, I believe it was Michael that... Uh, hooked me up with uh, some good product of theirs, so big props to Michael. Uh, I believe I have the right name. And uh, so yeah, th this is one of, uh, he gave me five beers to uh, throw my channel. So first one I'm gonna, I'm gonna try is, really look forward to it when I saw the description of it. It's called Summit Practice, double dry hopped, double what looks to be, I don't know if it's considered just a hazier in New England, but you know, looks, uh, looks hazy by the, the pictures. Uh, it has cashmere and citra. You're supposed to get lemon, lime, and melon primarily from cashmere. Citra, you know, I always think of floral citrus, little grapefruit, maybe maybe mango and, uh, you know, tangerine. There's a lot of stuff that can go into citra, one of the most common hops. But, uh, yeah, I believe this is pretty uh, f f fresh. It is. Richter button out. 8.3% on the Richter. Um, yeah, sounds... Uh, Sounds quite amazing. I, I have good experiences with cashmere hops in the past. Uh, looking forward to it. And uh, brought, brought my boy Champ with here to supervise my buffs and my nuggets, of course. What up? And uh, big props to Burbank. Let's let's do this for Trustworthy, shall we? All right. You know the drill. Just do me a small favor. There, There's a like button directly below me. Just, just crush it for me right now. And hit the subscribe button, too, and notification bell. That way you can see all the beers all the time. All right, all right, all right. All right. This one is definitely looking almost uh, orange juice peach, you know, little, little, little uh, peach look as well. But um, yeah, looking uh, looking juicy, if I would uh, say that correctly, if I recollect. Um, all right. Let me get to a uh, aroma check. Has a nice little little perfect head on it. Funny, it literally smells like citrus and um, peach and mango kind of right off. Definitely get the peach. Wow. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, just getting the, the real heavy fruit right off the sniff. So I'm just going to dig right in. No, don't really smell the, the, the hop. Sometimes I can get a little bit of the dry hop in there, but smelling a lot of fruit. So no words, just emotions. Let's drink. smooth pillowy definitely get 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 getting a lot of peach um mouthfeel is little pineapple little grapefruit very little but pineapple I'd say the mouthfeel is probably like ah at least right now about about 35 40 percent out of 100 but still pretty thick Okay, um, it's just super. I'll, I'll say that. I mean, for being eight eight point three, so smooth and pillowy, it feels like it's like it easily passes like a six point eight single style hazy. Um, yeah, and again, have it ice cold. So, what I'm gonna do? Give me a what'll seem like a second to you. I'm gonna taste it for about another minute. I'll have it warm up. And see if I get any more uh, notes to see if I get any melanin more, you know, lemon lime or anything else that I would get from this. But right now, just a nice, uh, you know, peachy, uh, pineapple, smooth, pillowy, soft, what feels like a single, even though it's a double. So hold on one sec. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, this one uh, is definitely easy going on your, uh, your taste buds. It's not. Like, you know, some of these that are get are like, you know, crazy pepper, crazy hot burn, all that. This is literally all you really get from this, which is kind of nice, is just a lot of just, if you want to overall put a tropical fruit, like kind of, you know, peach, pineapple, little orange, tangerine, whatever, all kind of rolled softly into a pillowy soft 8.3, which feels, like I said, like 6.8 or 7. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it's 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 pre- pretty uh, pretty refreshing, and but all the same time ha- has enough fruit flavor and floralness, if you want to call it. I just get a lot of fruit from this to uh, satisfy. It's not a uh, it's not not trying to be super dank, bitter, peppery. It's very just a nice rounded, pillowy feel of fruit. So yeah, it's good. Uh, just one comment I found on Untapped, which basically agree with uh this person said they were celebrating they said man this is good uh bright pine and citrus i don't really get the pine but he said pine and citrus peel aroma uh, is lovely the body is sweet orange juicy rich feel and lingering floral and citrus peel in the finish absolutely wonderful yeah no i mean for the most part he's right i don't get really the pine so much but i don't i didn't detect that at all and i still don't Yeah, for me, it's just like maybe he's the little subtle, subtle grapefruit that I'm getting. Maybe he's thinking it's pine. It's all the interpretation. I mean, I know everyone's feel sometimes is different on these IPAs. But um, yeah, it's just a pillowy, soft, uh, tropical fruit endeavor um, that, you know, it's got some nice floral notes to it. Um, but yeah, delicious. Um, and, you know. Let's get to the scale, shall we? Let's get to uh, time for rating time. Uh, so, from Stellar down to, oh, hell no. Again, I like being challenged by pepper and, and upfront, you know, dry hop, bitterness. Uh, you know, I sometimes like, you know, with one of my last reviews, love huge marijuana, like dankness to it. But, uh, but th- this is just a really nice, just... Just fruit, fruit, you know, fruit smoothie of a beer, but not not sweet. Just kind of really pillowy soft. And obviously, I think I saw they brew this with oats as well, so that's why it gives it that nice New England, you know, feel to it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rate this. Starting off with the first trusty, trustworthy, solid. And for y'all don't know that, I'd give this a, uh, I would give this a 94 out of 100. Get just a, a straight A beer. Um, uh, again, super soft for 8.3. Again, that does not feel like that. Yeah, just, just a, you know, IPA smoothie of, of, of tropical fruit. Um, but really kicking in more for me with the, um, subtle bits of orange, pineapple, and, um, yeah, like just, just ever so twinge of grapefruit. Not really at the end. But there you go. Uh, I'm going to be on the next one. Uh, Tower 1 and Tower 2 are in there. I've got a lager from them. And uh, I did get the fantastic uh, barrel-aged stout they have with uh, that I think has coconut in it. So that will be coming along the way. But, uh, yeah, Trustworthy Brewing, Burbank. Always love you guys. Good beer right here. I can't wait for the next one. I'll probably, probably go. Maybe I'll go with the lager next. I, I don't know. Either, either that or Tower 1. But, um, yeah, anyway, don't mean to keep it long, but I do. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next review. Good talk. See you out there. Trustworthy.